most movie lovers are unaware that the film Beetlejuice was originally intended to be a tragedy. The sequel was supposed to be filmed in Hawaii, where our favorite mischievous demon was meant to learn surfing, as indicated by many Easter eggs in the new film. And most importantly, Michael Keaton came up with most of the lines and antics himself. We are pleased to welcome you to our Elk channel. Now we will recall the history of Beetlejuice and try to guess what we might see in the third film. Enjoy the viewing. Today, we're diving into the world of Beetlejuice, a film that has captured the hearts of audiences since its release in 1988. Directed by the imaginative Tim Burton, this quirky comedy horror film blends humor, surrealism, and a unique visual style, making it a timeless classic. Let's explore the creation of this iconic movie, interesting facts, and the talented cast that brought it to life. Beetlejuice emerged from the creative mind of Burton, who had a vision for a film that combined the supernatural with the absurd. The screenplay, written by Michael McDowell, was initially darker, but evolved into the comedic tone we know today. Burton's unique style, characterized by eccentric characters and whimsical aesthetics, shone through, creating a film that felt fresh and original. The story follows a recently deceased couple, Adam and Barbara Maitland, played by Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis. Trapped in their home after a tragic accident, they soon discover that their abode has been taken over by the obnoxious Dietz family. To reclaim their space, they summon the ghost with the most, Beetlejuice, portrayed brilliantly by Michael Keaton. This chaotic spirit offers to help, but has its own twisted agenda. Burton's visual style is evident throughout Beetlejuice. From the vibrant colors to the surreal set designs, every frame is a feast for the eyes. The film's creative use of practical effects, like the famous sandworm scene, adds to its otherworldly charm and has influenced countless films since. Did you know that many of the characters are based on real-life influences? The character design reflects Burton's signature artistic flair, with exaggerated features and quirky outfits. The film is packed with memorable quotes and scenes that have entered pop culture, including Beetlejuice's catchphrase, It's Showtime! The film received an Academy Award for Best Makeup, highlighting its innovative effects and character design. Michael Keaton's performance as Beetlejuice is a masterclass in comedic timing and improvisation. Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin bring warmth and humor to their roles, creating a perfect balance between the living and the dead. Winona Ryder also shines as Lydia Dietz, adding a touch of teenage angst to the mix. Beetlejuice 2. Set to bring back the quirky humor and supernatural antics we loved, this sequel is an exciting return to the bizarre world created by Tim Burton. Let's explore the making of this film, the characters we'll reunite with, and the hidden gems within. After nearly three decades of anticipation, Beetlejuice 2 has finally taken shape. Tim Burton returns as director, ensuring that the film stays true to the whimsical and darkly comedic spirit of the original. The screenplay has gone through various iterations over the years, with Burton collaborating with different writers to capture the magic of the first film while introducing fresh elements to the story. In this sequel, we find Lydia Dietz, now an adult, played by Winona Ryder, who reprises her iconic role. The story picks up with Lydia as she navigates her life while still haunted by the memories of her past encounters with the ghost with the most. Michael Keaton also returns as the infamous Beetlejuice, promising more outrageous antics and unforgettable moments. Their dynamic is sure to be just as wild and chaotic as it was in the first film. A fascinating aspect of Beetlejuice 2 is the continuation of themes explored in the original film. We can expect more supernatural shenanigans and quirky humor that made the first installment so beloved. Burton's signature visual style is set to shine again with imaginative set designs and creative effects that promise to transport us back to the whimsical world of the afterlife. Rumors suggest that the sequel will introduce new characters and settings, expanding on the universe we fell in love with. Fans have been speculating about potential cameos and nods to the original, creating a buzz around the film's release. Hidden Easter eggs and references to the first film are likely to keep viewers engaged, rewarding longtime fans for their loyalty. In addition to the returning cast, we may see new faces joining the fun, bringing fresh dynamics to the story. 
the combination of new and familiar characters could create exciting opportunities for humor and drama, enhancing the narrative in unexpected ways. With Beetlejuice 2, Burton aims to recapture the magic that made the first film a cultural phenomenon while exploring the passage of time and how it affects relationships. The blend of nostalgia and innovation has fans eager for a glimpse into the lives of these beloved characters once more. Beetlejuice 3, what could the future hold? As we wrap our heads around the excitement of Beetlejuice 2, let's take a moment to ponder the possibilities for a potential third installment in this beloved franchise, Beetlejuice 3. With Tim Burton's imaginative storytelling and Michael Keaton's unforgettable portrayal of the mischievous ghost, the door is wide open for even more supernatural shenanigans. Here are some intriguing ideas about what could unfold in the next chapter of Beetlejuice's wild adventures. One exciting possibility for Beetlejuice 3 is the introduction of Beetlejuice's offspring. Imagine a young, chaotic spirit, perhaps even a hybrid between Beetlejuice and a human, this offspring could possess a unique blend of their father's mischievous nature and a desire to carve out their identity in the afterlife. Their antics could lead to hilarious and unexpected consequences, especially if they start meddling in the lives of the living, much like Beetlejuice did in the original film. This dynamic could create a fascinating storyline of parenting, rebellion, and the struggles of legacy. Another intriguing concept could involve the emergence of a rival ghost who may be a long-lost relative of Beetlejuice. This character could possess their own set of supernatural powers and a grudge against Beetlejuice, leading to a comedic yet intense rivalry. Their backstory might reveal hidden family secrets, exploring Beetlejuice's origins and the complexities of his afterlife existence. This rivalry could challenge Beetlejuice's reputation and force him to confront his past, leading to a deeper character exploration while maintaining the franchise's signature humor. Moreover, we could see Lydia Dietz navigating the challenges of parenthood or mentorship in the afterlife. Perhaps she has become a guardian for a group of mischievous young spirits, guiding them through the complexities of their existence. This would not only allow Winona Ryder to continue her character's growth, but also introduce a new generation of supernatural shenanigans creating a fresh perspective on the series while paying homage to its roots. As we dream about the possibilities of Beetlejuice 3, the anticipation builds. What kind of chaos will Beetlejuice stir up next, and how will he navigate the complexities of parenthood and rivalry? The charm of the original film lies in its ability to mix the bizarre with heartfelt moments, and we can only hope that a third installment will continue this legacy. If you're excited about the future of Beetlejuice, let us know your thoughts and theories in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on your favorite films.